The Bible says we'll know the truth in one place. It says it will set us free. In another place, it says it will make us free. So once we know what the truth is, we now can follow it. I'm often hearing people preach things that is not in the Bible. They cannot find a scripture for it. And so therefore, uh, God doesn't have to back it up and will not back it up because he only watches over his word to perform it. Amen. I'm preaching to me tonight. But it, it's important tonight because I'm coming across so many people that are deceived. They go to church every Sunday. They hear people preach the gospel, and yet they, they don't believe it, number one. Or they will change what it says and tell other people it's okay. If you understood, amen, how important it is for us to teach the Bible the way that Jesus commands us, that it doesn't ever change. You can't ever get into the kingdom of heaven without being born again. I don't care if I live 500 years and the Lord tarries all those years. This Bible is not going to change. And so people have to enter in. Well, one of the things that's going on in the last days, the Bible says in Revelation that the devil is going about through the whole world to deceive people. That is his job. And I want you to know tonight that we're living in that day. Hello, we are living in that place in Revelation where people are being deceived on a regular basis and they're not following the gospel which they were taught originally. And so now that they are in danger of the judgment and if they continue in those things, they will be X out of the book of life and they will not be part of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Now, as I read and I began to open up tonight, it says in Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And healing tonight and deliverance comes from God. It's never going to change. Hello. Hello. It comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. And if he went out in Israel and delivered the people, amen, with healing and, and mighty power of deliverance, amen, then he would like to do that tonight. He hasn't ever changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so the things that he did in the New Testament, he would like to do for you tonight. Hello. He would like you to believe these things because that releases the power. If you don't believe the Word of God, you should just go to the movies. Can I get a witness? Amen. Or go to the grocery store or go to the mall. Uh, Y'all not listen to me, but it won't do you any good to make it up in your mind. It won't do you any good if you cannot find Scripture basis for your faith. It will not help you. And all the studying in the world is not going to change Jesus and his opinion. If he waited another hundred years and came back, as I said earlier, he will have the same opinion as he did when he came 2,000 years ago. He did not change his mind. The word, the Bible says, is forever settled in heaven. Amen. And when he preached, and when people preach the word of God, both in the Old and New Testament, that scripture, God thought about what he once said. The holy men of old, according to Timothy, were moved by the Spirit of God, and they spoke the Word of God, and holy men of old wrote it down, and that's how we have scripture. When they uh, translated the Bible, and they did it in 1600 Elizabethan English, the reason they put the scriptures in here as they are is because they match up all the way down the line. The scriptures in Ezekiel say the same thing that they do in Revelation when it talks about the last days. And so they leave those scriptures in there because they're consistent with Bible teaching. When it talks about Jesus coming to the earth, it says it in the old and then it said it in the new. And we have the story, the what we call the Christmas story, where Jesus came to the earth. Hello. 
And then we know that in the Old Testament, it said he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes were healed. And we know the story of both of the death, burial, and resurrection, that Jesus was beaten 39 stripes. He was made fun of in Herod's palace and Pilate's judgment hall, and he was crucified, and he was raised from the dead. Now, if you're going to change your mind, go to the comic book store and leave me alone. Amen. If you want a different doctrine, amen, go somewhere else. Don't come to church and try to tell somebody that Jesus changed his mind because he did. Amen. Don't tell somebody that healing has ceased because it hasn't. Don't tell somebody they can't be forgiven of their sin because they can. Don't tell somebody they can't have the devil cast out because they can. Amen. Don't tell somebody, amen, that Jesus can't do something that he promised he would do. He will never change. He will do it for whoever asks him. If he did it for somebody 2,000 years ago, he'll do it for you. He will not change. The Bible says God is love. He doesn't have love. He is love. He always will be loving. I wish I could get a witness. He will always be concerned for his people. He has made a preparation and blessing for his people to deliver them and to set them free.